In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually create a Microsoft account. Now, this is mainly for Minecraft migration, where you actually need to have a Microsoft account to actually migrate your current Mojang account. So, uh, let's get into it. Now, starting off, this does not have to be strictly for Minecraft. You can just use this for a Microsoft account creation, since it is the same. So, what you're going to want to do is go to Microsoft.com. Once you have done that, go all the way over here and click on sign in. Now you obviously probably do not have an account, so you're going to want to hit create one. And then once you have done that, use your email right over here. Now obviously you're going to want to have an email that you have access to because this will be your Microsoft account. And you obviously either don't want people logging into your Minecraft account, or you just don't want a random person logging into your Microsoft account. Now once you have an email that you have access to, you're going to want to create a password. Now I would recommend not using passwords that you already have for similar sites, but obviously do whatever you want. I would just recommend using a random string of numbers, letters, uppercase and lowercase, but obviously choose whatever you want. But note that passwords must have at least 8 characters and have at least a 2 of the following. Either uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. So just do whatever you want. But obviously you can use Google to suggest a strong password as well and it will actually save it for you if you choose to do so. And then you press next. So obviously if you're making this your personal account you're going to want to use your real name but if you don't want to and you're just using this as a way to get to Minecraft then you can just do whatever you want. It does not really matter. And then obviously you can put your birthday. Now this can be whatever you want, it does not really matter. So just do whatever you want or you can just fill it in accurately. But obviously this is not a real account so I can just put anything you want. And you can put anything you want there as well. Now moving on, you have to verify your email. Now this is why you would want to have an email that you have access to. So I wouldn't recommend using a fake email or like a 10 minute email. Just because you're going to need to have access to this account later. So you can obviously unselect that, but type in the code. Once you actually have done that, what you're going to want to do is solve the robot puzzle, just say human verification by clicking next and picking the donut or whichever verification that you may get since this changes over time. So I'm just going to click on this one since it is the donut. Now you obviously will have to do this multiple times, but it is normally pretty simple. And then you are actually done, that is it. Now as you can see, you are logged in. Now that is actually all you need to do for now until you actually get accepted into migration. But there is a second way to actually make a Microsoft account, and that is by using it in the Minecraft launcher. Now the second way to actually make this Microsoft account is by going through the Minecraft launcher. Yes, when you are actually migrating, you can actually make a Microsoft account within the launcher. Now it will give you a pop-up just like so to create a Microsoft account with the email that's already associated with your Mojang account. Now obviously if you don't want to choose this email, you can choose another one. But then you want to hit create account. Then type in the password, select the same things like your country and birth date. And then you are done. You can choose a username and a profile. And then you will be able to finalize your moving in. But once you are actually done creating your nor- But if you actually create a Microsoft account by using the Microsoft website or already have one, you can actually just log in with it. So as you can see, you might already have it or it will press add one and you can just log into the account by just typing in the password. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I actually got this video idea from a comment. So make sure to comment down below any video ideas you guys would like me to do. Because I really look at all your comments, heart them, and reply to most of them if they needed a reply. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for the massive amount of support recently, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.